All right, so this is guided learning activity for week number two. This week we're going to be talking about two separate chapters in the book. Chapter two, which is the concept of culture, and then chapter three, which is applied anthropology. So first we're going to work through the concept of culture. Okay, so then what is culture? Um, according to Welsh and Vivianca, which is, remember, the other textbook that we do use in the on-campus classes, Culture is the collective process that makes the artificial seem natural. So remember last week we talked about um, how we take culture for granted, um, and that culture, <clears throat> they're the things that we don't really realize that are happening in our culture. They seem very natural to us. They seem very real. And that's why when we see a different culture doing something very differently, it feels unnatural or strange to us. Is because our culture does feel so natural. That's why I'm using um, partly this definition because I really like their focus on number one it's a process culture is a process not a thing and then two it's what makes the artificial seem natural so pretty much everything around us is artificial um, the fact that I have long hair is artificial the fact that as a woman I wear makeup is artificial these are not things that are naturally human okay these are things that are artificial that we've created in our cultures, our cultural constructs, these beliefs. And so culture makes these things feel very natural. It makes them feel as if that's the way they always have been or that's the way they always should be. Okay. Um, so these things are humanly constructed and variable. So that's where we see those changes from culture to culture. The emphasis on calling it a collective process I like the word process a lot. We think of culture as, let's say, an object. Culture is an object. But really, culture is always changing. So culture is in this dynamic ebb and flow, this give and take. It's always changing. So referring to it as a process really emphasizes that things are changing. Okay? And it's not one way all the time. Culture is not a static thing. It's very dynamic. And then your textbook defines it as everything that people have, think, and do as members of a society. Have representing the material possession, so the things around us. Think being what's inside your head, how you think about things. And do being the behavioral patterns of the people within that culture. So two different kind of takes on culture, and there are a lot of different definitions of culture. Um, your book talks about one from E.B. Tyler. Remember we mentioned him last week as well, classic anthropologist. So he said that culture is the complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, law, moral, custom, and any other capabilities acquired by man as a member of society. Okay. So he's saying they're acquired by man. So that's learning, right? That's we're gonna be talking about learning. Okay. Um, as a member of a society, so you can't really have culture if you're by yourself. Culture is shared. So he's really emphasizing that in this as well. It's integrated into your daily experience, he's saying here. And he's giving some, some examples there. So cultural knowledge, belief systems, art, law, morals, customs, norms, values, all of these things, which we don't think about. You don't think about the norms or values of American culture until someone challenges them or until you see something that's different. So these are the things we're taking for granted. Okay. So when we think about culture, there are a lot, a lot of different definitions, but um, most of these theories of culture share these same um, ideas. And so we have six here laid out for you. Your book mentions these. Their wording is a little bit different, but they're the same concepts. Okay, so culture is learned. It uses symbols. It's dynamic, so always changing, adapting. People are always learning new things, creating new things for the culture. Culture is integrated with your daily experience and it shapes everyone's life. Okay? And then again, remember, culture is shared. You have to have other people to have a culture. Okay? So let's just start off. We'll work down through. Um, we'll start with culture being learned. So this is through the process of enculturation. Now, if you take a look at this comic, it doesn't initially make any sense, right? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So when you realize that you were encultured, you were taught as part of your culture to read from left to right, when you question that and think, well, where was this comic made? It's a Hebrew comic. They read from right to left. So now look at it again from right to left. Now it does make sense, right? It makes more sense. So culture begins the minute we're born or even before. Okay. 
Um, when you're born, you come out of your mother's womb and you're in this room full of doctors, they immediately tell you, identify you as male or female, and then we begin speaking to you differently and treating you differently based on that categorization of your sex. So we're teaching you these things like gender roles, for example, in this situation. Okay. So culture is learned. It's the process of learning the cultural rules and logic of a society. And like I said, that begins as soon as we're born. You start learning those things immediately. And that's partly why it feels so natural, is because you learned it from the moment you were born. Okay. If you've been told something for the past 18 years, almost every single day, something like gender norms, right, then that feels very, very natural to you. It feels very realistic, even though it's all artificial. Okay. So this is the first step. We'll continue with the others. But what I want you to do is I want to think of, want you to think down below, write out for me, um, some things that maybe you didn't realize were part of your culture. So take a step back, look at your culture. What do you take for granted in the culture? And then think of some things that you have learned um, that have been, you've been enculturated into you, some of those things. Okay.